Tim, what are you doing? I'm gonna register. What am I filling out here? Well, hey, how, how the fishing end up? Fish, Any more? That guy just left at seven, eight, six pounders all day. Oh my God, we're gonna be on TV or what? This is the lake we're going to. And it costs eight fifty dollars. Tim, they got everything you need here, buddy. Getting me an unofficial Greenland Cove shirt. <laughs> oh, our Please crystal. Jack is coming in. <laughs> These are the streamers that are going to catch us some big ones. Many varieties. Dark on cloudy days. Bright ones on bright days. Yeah. Actually, it's opposite of that. Everything a man needs to catch a salmon. Now let's see if Tim can catch his own. You know, I'm not going to do it now, but I'm kind of tempted to get some better. Are about like $30 shoes, really? Oh, no, $15. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm very, very tempted to ditch these. <laughs> you know, Tim, tell her how much you got this for at Martin's. He already told me. <laughs> about 50. Which was it? It was a dollar. Tim might catch himself well, a few of these. Tim got in the uh, four wheel, four V Polaris with his new buddy here, and she's going to take us up to the site. So we'll show you where it's at. Then we're going to go back and get our gear and any uh, boat situation set up. So we'll be back with you soon at the site. section all the RVs are over there and we can see them and wave to them and uh, we chose C back to truck in right here that was Billy Bob on his ATV um, kill it. Um, but what's cool is we got a great section back here we can, uh, we can do our hanging out Oh yeah. Back and really, uh, really enjoy the woods back here and get away from all that. Yeah. It's pretty, it's decent, but we're gonna be on the boat all day. We're gonna go get the boat right now and get it all set up. Wow. <laughs> East Grand Lake. Mountains galore. Slap these dots. Uh, yeah. You'll see various spots here last week. We replaced probably 25 boards. The yeah. other two dots are on the other side. Yeah. We took them down into the boat. Yeah. And those things are down there. I'm pretty excited about this campsite. We're got our own section. Um, you can hear some kids, and some people, but that's all right. The boat, as you saw, is awesome, and. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow and go fish. Actually, I can't wait to eat some bratwurst tonight. Get the fire going, eat some brats and some fried potatoes and a little bread with it. It's gonna be good. Here is the campsite. Got some chairs. Johnny's got the big fire going. Tim helped. I did help. I collected wood and stuff. Truck right here. It's gonna be a good brat dinner. I should have you know that uh, the sleeping bags and tent were left back in Portland, Maine. So all we have is the back of the pickup truck to sleep in. That's cool. Two guys, back of the truck. Sometimes you're just about survival. We're going to show you how to survive tomorrow on the great East Grand Lake.
You got the camera? Uh, yeah. Oh. I want to show them how it's done. We just boiled up some potatoes, and right now we're going to make potato salad. Let's go see what John's up to. Well, I'm, I'm just putting the last bit of spices in this potato salad. We got a little bit of mayo, a little extra mayo. Now we are on, on holiday. And uh, some herbs, spe secret special herbs that you can get on my website, cookmess.net. Um, it's under the adventure coleslaw. Or, I'm sorry, adventure potato salad recipe. And uh, some salt and some pepper. And this is going to serve us for a couple days. And where was it made? Right here in the state of Maine. One thing I'm trying to do up here in Maine is get in a little better shape, take care of my body, lower my cholesterol, and uh, live a long and prosperous life. When I went to the grocery store at Hannaford's, I was looking for a mayonnaise that was going to be tasty, but yet low calorie and low fat. What I found? Kraft mayo with olive oil. It's, it's one half the fat, only four grams of fat per serving, and it is one of the best mayonnaise I've ever had in my life. It is very tasty, doesn't taste low fat, and it's gonna keep me uh, doing this trip for many years in the future, and not six feet under. And that's what craft brings us, life. Hello. One of the benefits of staying in a campsite like this is bathrooms, showers, all kinds of niceness. So I'm going to take my contact lenses out, glasses on, wash up, brush my teeth, head back to the campfire and relax for another half hour and go to bed. Now I'm ready for bed. Even wash my face. Tomorrow, salmon. <laughs>